Hi, my name is Brogan. I'm a student nurse and I'm going to be doing this lesson on you today. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Kylan, May 26, 2000. Okay. Uh, she appears to be sitting well with a good posture. Um, her mood and affect are appropriate and um, her facial expressions are appropriate as well. Um, her speech is clear. She appears to be nourished well. Um, okay. And now we're gonna move on to your head. So her head appears to be of normal shape and size. Um, I'm gonna run my hands through your hair, feeling for any lesions or any abnormalities. I don't feel any lumps or bumps. Okay. I'm gonna take a look at your eyeballs. So her eyebrows appear to be well distributed hair-wise, lashes as well. I don't see any abnormalities as far as that goes. I'm going to pull down your eyes here and just check your conjunctiva. Conjunctiva appear to be uh, pink and moist. Um, I am going to pull out my pen mark and I'm going to check for uh, corneal light reflex. Uh, and consensual light reflex um, and uh, pupillary dilation. Um, so I'm just going to shine this light in your eyeballs. Just look straight ahead for me. All right. And the pupils are consensual. All right. Um, now I'm going to do the different cardinal gazes on her. So I'm just going to have you stare at my pen light here, all right, and just follow with your eyes. Don't move your head. Good. Okay. So everything is all right with her eyes. Um, now I'm going to check her ears um, and just do a, an inspection of them. They appear to be intact, uh, not overly pierced or anything of that sort. Uh, I'm going to feel the oracles and the tragus. Any tenderness when I'm doing that? No. Okay. All right, and I'm going to also feel your sinuses as well. Any tenderness when I do that? No. Okay, next I'm going to check her nose. Um, it appears to be centered in the middle of her face. Um, and I'm going to plug one there at a time. And I want you to just take breaths when I do that. Any difficulty breathing with either of those? Nope. Okay, nares are patent bilaterally. All right, now I'm gonna check inside of your mouth. Um, can you open your mouth wide for me? Okay, can you say ah? Ah, uh, okay, can you stick out your tongue for me? And can you clench your teeth for me? Perfect. All right, now I am going to um, check the lymph nodes um, all throughout her head and her neck. Um, so I'm going to check the preauriculars, the postauriculars, the occipitals, and then I'm gonna come down and I'm going to check the um, anterior, uh, cervical chain and the posterior cervical chain and then come back up. I'm going to check the tonsillar. I'm going to check the submandibulars and the submentals. And I'm also going to check the supraclaviculars. Any pain or tenderness with that? No. Okay. And I don't feel any sort of inflammation um, there at all. Um, next, I'm going to move on to her neck. Um, her trachea appears to be midline. Um, with carotid pulses present on both sides. Five plus one plus two, I'm gonna say plus two bilaterally. All right, now I'm going to do some strength things with your neck. So I want you to look straight ahead for me. Can you push on, on my uh, head, turning your head that way? All right, and do it the other way as well. Perfect, okay. And then can you move your head forward for me and backwards inside? to side and then can you turn as well? Okay. Everything appears to be intact with that. Um, let's move down 
downward. So I'm gonna move into her shoulders. Um, can you push up on my hands? Okay, perfect. Um, we're gonna move down into her arms. And I would check her skin, uh, had she been wearing a short sleeve shirt, um, check for any lesions, any bruising, um, anything of that sort. Can you hold out your hands for me like this? Okay, I'm gonna check capillary refill on both sides. Less than two seconds, great. And then I'm going to check your radial pulses on both sides. Okay, and then can you do a range of motion for me? So I want you to stick your hands out front and then up and then to the sides and back down. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, so, Besides that, her skin appears to have no lesions anywhere else, um, not on her face, um, neck, hands, feet, anything of that sort. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to her back side. So can you turn around for me? I'm gonna steal your glasses here. Okay. So I'm going to take a peek at her back. Everything looks good on there. Um, had she not been wearing a shirt, I would be um, checking, making sure for any bruising, um, anything abnormal like that. So I'm going to put my hands on your back and I want you to take a deep breath in for me. All right. And that is equal bilaterally. So next thing I'm going to do is tactile firmitus. So I'm going to have you say 99 every single time I place my hand on your back. So here we go. 99 and then I'm going to also percuss in the back so um, you're just gonna feel me kind of tapping on your back a little bit here. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna take a listen to your lungs. All right, and every time you feel the stethoscope touch your back, just take a deep breath for me. Okay, lungs are clear bilaterally. All right, now can I have you turn back around for me and I'm gonna do the front side. Okay, and again, inspecting, making sure that I don't know any sort of physical deformities um, with her. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing in the front and just take a listen to you. Nice deep breaths for me. So now we're going to move to the precordium area. So first I'm going to feel for her apical pulse, this intercostal space here. All right, we found that. So I'm going to listen to your heart. I didn't know any sort of um, thrills uh, when I was feeling her apical pulse. Um, so now we're just going to take a listen here and just breathe normally for me. No 
abnormalities are noted with that. All right, let's move on. I'm going to have you lay down for me on the bed. <clears throat> okay, so next we are going to check your abdomen. So had she not been wearing a shirt or um, anything of that sort, I would check and make sure that there was no sort of bruising, any sort of abnormalities, no scars, lesions, anything like that. Um, her abdomen does appear to be um, flat, no distension um, with that. Um, so first I'm gonna ask you, are you having any pain in your abdomen at all? No. Okay. So after inspection, I'm going to move on and just listen to all four quadrants for bowel sounds. going to be percussion so that same tapping that I did on your back I'm going to do on your stomach as well in all four quadrants any pain or tenderness with that no okay um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, palpate your abdomen so first I'm going to start off with a light touch feeling for any superficial abnormalities and then I'm going to go to a deeper touch into the organ all right, and I don't feel any sort of masses, abnormalities, anything of that sort. And I'm going to go back and correct myself. When I listen to heart sounds, I would not only listen with the bell, but the diaphragm as well. All right, so now we're gonna move on to your legs. Um, I am first going to feel for your pulses. So I'm gonna feel for pedal pulses, plus two bilaterally. And then I'm also going to feel for your um, posterior tibial pulses, which are plus two bilaterally. Next thing we're going to do with your legs is range of motion. So just like we did with your arms, I'm going to lift your legs straight up and then I'm going to have you bend at the knee and then we're going to adduct and we're going to abduct. Any sort of pain or tenderness with that? Nope. Okay. And we're going to do the other leg as well. So straight up. Bend the knee, abduct, and abduct. Good job. Okay, so next I'm gonna do some um, uh, neurological things. So I'm gonna have you sit up and then come to the edge of the bed again. Any dizziness when you sit up? No, okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just um, light touch. So I'm gonna have you close your eyes, um, and I want you to tell me where you feel me touching. My arm. My left arm. Okay. My leg. My right leg. My leg. Lower leg. My right lower leg. My left foot. My right foot. Okay. My right hand. My left hand. Right cheek, left cheek. Okay. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna have you do, I'm gonna have you do supination and pronation. So I'm just gonna have you put your hands out and go like this and do it nice and fast for me, kind of like this. There you go. Okay, so she's good there. And then I'm also gonna have you, I don't know if we can see here. I'm gonna have you um, run your foot up and down your shin. Okay, and then do the other one. All right. So no abnormalities noted there. Um, the next thing I am going to check uh, is our reflexes. So I'm gonna have you, what I would do is have a reflex hammer. I do not have one of those. So I would um, check reflexes, um, our brachial reflexes. So I would tap right there and you should see a jerk in the hand, do the other side as well. And then I would check our patellar reflexes and you would see a jerk in the um, bottom of the leg. And then I would go down and do the Achilles as well. And then that would um, show a jerk with the bottom of the foot, um, usually dropping down. Um, 
Okay, so then our next thing here we are going to do um, is to do um, the uh, reflex on the bottom of the foot, the plantar reflex. Um, so normally we're just going to have a little bit of tickling and like a tickling reaction um, from our patients. What we don't want to see is the Babinski reflex, which we see in babies. Um, so I would take my reflex hammer and go bottom of the foot into a J and we got a little bit of a tickle there. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to have you stand up for me and I am going to have you walk from where you are, just walk across there. Her gait appears to be normal. The next thing I'm gonna have you do is come back and do um, heel to toe and just walk back. All right, and she has got a good balance. Next thing I'm gonna have her do is a Romberg test. So I'm gonna have you stand with your feet together and I want you to close your eyes and lift up one foot. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to do a range of motion with her spine. Whoops, you can't see me. Range of motion with her spine. So I'm gonna have you bend over for me. Okay, and then come back up and bend backwards for me. And then I'm gonna have you bend to the side and to the other side. And then I'm gonna have you do a little twist. Okay, very good. And that is all for our assessment. So thank you very much, Kylan. I appreciate it.